And speaking of the sun, Sarah, they've lost midfielder Hugh Greenwood in what was a pretty bizarre circumstance. Yeah, speaking of the Suns and speaking of bad optics, Alyssa, the Suns have truly <laughs> gassed this one because at the end of last week, they delisted Hugh Greenwood, who is a really well-respected member of their midfield. And really, the rest of the AFL world were in a bit of shock as to what was going on. But the Suns came out and Greenwood himself came out on Twitter and they said, no, this is all part of a plan. We need to have an extra pick at the draft. And we have every intention of both player and club uh, meeting up again and playing on next year but in a very short space of time that has all changed dramatic dramatically I should say the kangaroos saw an opening and David Noble their coach has been a big fan of Greenwoods for a long time they got on the phone to him and his management offered him a two-year deal with a trigger clause for a third season and he's taken it and I think really the, the Gold Coast Suns only have themselves to blame we're aware that you know, there, there was the potential for this to happen, but we thought we chose the players um, that other clubs potentially would pass on, given given you know, circumstance. And Hugh was one of those, being a you know a 30 year old. It wasn't what we planned it to be. Um, we wanted Hugh to play next year, and then you know potentially the year after, and, and help develop our young midfield. But um, we also feel on the on the flip side that we do have a a young talented midfield that's that's ready to go at the same time. So whilst we we didn't plan for this to happen uh, by any stretch. Mm. Uh, Hugh goes with our absolute best wishes. So Wayne Campbell there saying that Hugh Greenwood goes to the Suns with their blessings. Alyssa, I'm not sure if I believe him there. I don't <laughs> think they'll be making the same mistake again.